division. This is how you can divide polynomials. Uh, we're just going to start here on, on number one. Find the remainder. So the remainder is what comes out at the end of the division. So on number one, this is kind of what we got wrong on 20. Number one, you see how it goes from x to the fifth to x cubed? So it skipped the x to the fourth term. So that means there's like a zero x to the fourth, so we're going to have to put a zero. It also goes from x squared to negative four, so it's skipping an x term. So this one actually has two zeros in the coefficients. So my coefficients are 1, 0, negative 2, uh, 1, 0, negative 4. Okay, not hard to do, but since this is so long, um, there's a lot of opportunity to make mistakes. Now, on A it says we are dividing by x minus 1. So what do I put in the box over here? A positive 1. So when you're dividing, you do the kind of the opposite. And when you're doing substitution, which is what we did on 20, you do not do the opposite. So, but this is division. So I'm going to add down 1 plus nothing, multiply it up times 1. Multiplying by 1 kind of makes it a little bit easier. Huh? What did you say? Nothing. Something inappropriate. Who are you talking? Who are you talking to? Her? She's making fun of me. No, She's I saying said, I hate adopted people. I said adopt. I said I, said I said adopt. I said adopt. I said that's what I said. Okay. What's the wrong one? All right, anyway, the remainder is negative 4. Now, the rest of the stuff, this would be the constant, the x term, the x squared, the x cubed, the x to the fourth term. So it would be like x to the fourth plus x cubed minus x squared, and then with the remainder of negative 4. So they just asked for the remainder, so negative 4. I guess I can just circle that thing. All right. Now, since I've got the smart board, I'm going to cheat here. X plus 1, so that means negative 1 is going to go, and I'm just going to erase this. I'll save myself some time. So add down, multiply up, add down, multiply up, and so on and so forth. Why would I buy anything? Why are you asking me these questions? <laughs> it's a I'm curious. X minus three. This sucks. Okay. You guys warm because I think the vents are closed. I mean, if you're hot, you need to open the vents.
Okay, if the remainder came out as zero, what would that mean? It's an even whole number. It's a perfect factor, like it's perfectly divisible by x plus one or whatever it was. Now, none of these, the remainder came out zero. So, it, none of these would have factored. Would the, no. Okay, any questions though? <laughs> yeah, that is kind of roomy, isn't it? And you have to show that. Well, how can you do it without writing that down? I know, but still. No. Okay. Easy. Sorry. So you can't do it again. If you are a neat freak, then you can do it on a separate sheet, but you have to staple it to it. Why are you like this? What happened to you as a child? Okay, so on 3 through 10, 3 through 10, it's uh, find the quotient remainder when you divide. So it's basically the same thing. So on number three, what are the coefficients? So no zeros on that one. So not true. We're dividing by x minus one, so positive one. stand for? Okay, remainder, the constant, the x term, the x squared term. If you're starting with like an x cubed and you're dividing by x minus 1, basically it's like dividing by x, the power is going to drop by 1. So the largest, if it started as x cubed, it's going to be x squared. Anyway, this is x squared minus x plus 4. Now how are we going to write the remainder? In the past I've had you write the remainder over the divisor. Okay, this book didn't do that. They just wrote like semicolon 5. Like 5 is the remainder. Well, it's easier. So it'll be 1, negative 2, 0, 5, 2. I don't know that I need to do all the other ones. You guys get the point. You should. Don't. If we have to do it. Yeah. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm the teacher. You get practice. I don't need practice. For the future. Like, what if you get older and you get old? Yeah, we're teaching. Mr. Jordan is passive. What if 
if I get dementia, I'll just quit. No, no, no. You won't know if you quit or not. You won't even know you got it. No. And then you'll, you'll probably like, try to go to work and be like, wait, yeah. I'm working. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get to a third minus. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
that's what I forgot. How do we do the remainder? I have to relearn this every year. I always forget how you divide what's remainder. See, I was just telling you that you need to do it for practice so you don't forget it. Who are you? I do it every year. I just forget every year. Uh, maybe I'll ma miraculously remember it in the middle of the problem. Okay. So what we're supposed to do is divide by x plus 2 as well. So I divided by x minus 0, which is basically divided by x, and I put it right here. Uh, so, we just have to divide so this is like uh, 3x to the 4th minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 1. And now I'm dividing that by negative 2, or x plus 2. So, well, my, the problem is I forgot how to handle the dividing of a remainder. I don't remember. If it was that easy, I would have remembered. So I might. Let's do this and see what happens, and then I'll look at the answer. So this one stands for 1 over x. And if we're dividing by x minus x plus 2. It would just stay a 1. Let's see what the answer is. Uh, number 9. The remainder is negative 41 plus 1. Yeah, I don't know if that's right. No, let's, so that's the remainder. Maybe 41 x plus 1 is remainder, basically. I don't think that happens on every problem. That's a problem. So this is the remainder. And now it's an x. So. They just put like negative 41 X plus one. So, can, um, what's the other? Um, no, I'll just do it with you guys. Okay. So, do you guys remember what the divisor factored X squared plus two X plus one? Yeah, it's X plus one plus one. So, that means we're gonna have to divide with a negative one twice. So you guys tell me, what are the coefficients? Be careful on number 10. One. Zero, zero. Zero, zero, three. Zero, four. Zero, four. So one, zero, zero, three, zero, four. And we're dividing by x plus one a couple times. So that's going to go right there. One, 
have a synthetic division? I don't have a clue. What? You've done this before. Also, we did it. We did it less less than ten. Uh, well, you have to look at the problems. Have you looked at the problems? Yeah. So you see all these numbers. Those are the coefficients. The numbers on the front. Since there's no x to the fourth or x cubed, we'll put uh, it zero right there. I remember this way. Uh, okay, yeah, I forgot what I was doing. So, divide, this is kind of the answer if you divide by x minus 1 once. Okay, uh, this is like x to the fourth minus x cubed plus x squared plus 2 minus 2 the remainder 6. So, we need to take that answer and divide by x plus 1 again. So, kind of repeat the process. So if the pattern holds, the remainder is negative x plus 6, because 6 from the last part. I don't, I have a feeling this is not right, but we'll see. Now it says negative x plus 5, I didn't add wrong, did I? Well, everything else was right. Yeah, I, I forgot how to do the remainder on the second, when you divide the remainder. Okay. I don't know. I'll maybe think about it and come up with it. So that's the x, x squared, x cubed. So it's x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. And then they said the remainder was negative x plus 5. Okay, 11, we're supposed to divide uh, x to the 100th minus 4x to the 99th plus 3 by x minus 1 and see whether it's a factor. So, um, how would I do that? Okay, what are my coefficients for my polynomial? A number 11. Okay, so that's the 100th power, this is the 99th, so this would be like the 98th power, 97th, and this would be like x to the first power, this would be like x to the zero power. Uh, anyways, we kind of need to find the pattern here. So let's start by dividing by x minus 1. So I'm going to put a pause 1 in the box. How can I tell whether this is going to be a fact, if x minus 1 is a factor or not? We talked about this earlier. If you divide, and what happens? The remainder is zero, and it, that means it divides perfectly, right? So if our remainder comes out as zero, then yes, it is a factor. If it comes out as anything besides zero, then no, it is not a factor. So let's see how this would go. So add down, multiply up, add down, multiply up. Now. Because we're multiplying by 1, you can see there's kind of a pattern here. This is not 
Adding zero and multiplying by one is not changing all these, right? So until you get to the end where you add and it is a zero. So is x minus one a factor? Yes. Yes. I'm guessing x plus one is not, but I'm not sure. So let's try x plus one. So that's going to switch. trickier because when you multiply by negative one, it does alternate. Okay, what's the pattern here? On the even powers, it's positive. On the odd powers, it's negative. So, this would be like the x to the first power, so this would be the same as this. This would be like x to the zero. Um, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Either way, it's going to come out. Whether this is 5 or negative 5, this would come out as not zero. So, is that the chair or <coughs> Sure. You don't even know anymore. He's so desensitized. He can't he can't answer. Alright, anyways, the second one is a no. So only x minus one is a factor. Uh, okay. Is 14 like that? Or 12, I mean? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's only 20, but you still don't have to write the whole thing. You could, it'd be a lot of work. And also you have to go 1, 0, negative 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then 3, negative 6. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Should we stop there? Yeah. I think I understood That's good for not having watched. So if it's like x minus one, then it's, then it's possible. Yeah, here's the odds. Well, this was like one, this is one D. I just kept reusing the same picture over here. 